Hey, 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 Jedi, what's going on? Welcome to my channel, T-Girl Magic Tarot, yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch gemini my lovely Gemini's. What's going on, Gemini? Hi, bud. Cross watchers, all are here and welcome. Thank you, thank you, and more thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yes, honey. Okay, before I even get in, I'm just, that's, look. Thank you for being here. I love you. Sending all the love, light, and healing energies to each and every one of you. I hope, like I said, everybody's doing well. Keep in mind, this is a general message. The messages may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If it's not your story, it's not your story. It is a general reading, meaning that it can be for anybody, anywhere, any given time. It's just not about you. Okay, lovey? You want your own personal hit me up in the details in the description box below um <clears throat> choir come on now one two three oh t girl tarot magic and collective t girl t girl t girl magic and collective t girl tarot magic and collective check us out and see what we're about Ooh, we are gemini 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 Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Yay, Gemini, high five, cross watcher. Okay. Child, through this shuffle, there's a masculine that's intimidated from, okay, I don't know, because I really wanted to get into what had happened with this whatever spiritual practitioner who was transgender, they just happened to be transgender, and they were jealous of you, Gemini, and the way that you are, this masculine keep bringing you up and won't stop talking about you and keep running their mouth and shit. Now this man want to escape, because they done did some magic in the background that got him F-U-C-K-E-D up. Oh, honey, yes, it did. Mm-hmm. And they running, trying to run from their problems now, okay? Because maybe this, uh, spirit said, no, say maybe they did. The spiritual practitioner person put some type of spell on them or tried to put a spell on them. But I did pick up that this masculine energy, they were trying to save you or they were trying to do magic to counteract whatever this other practitioner was trying to do. But I guess this motherfucker is intimidated by the spiritual practitioner because... I don't know, something about smoking mirrors, misleading and embellishing the spiritual practitioner, possibly for some of them, not all of them. No, I don't feel like it's continuation, but for some of it, I feel that. Oh, that's making more sense. I'm glad we got the tea and I tapped into that. I didn't want to pick it up all the way. The spirit said, you ain't got no choice but to pick it up. So we picking it up. So the spiritual practitioner realized that the problem really wasn't you. Now, I don't know why this person was jealous of you or trying to be with you, because maybe this man would bring you up so much or this woman would bring you up so much, it kind of made the other person feel intimidated. You know what I mean? When, the, uh, when you're with somebody, you're dating someone, especially you have someone's feelings for, I feel like for maybe this could be a homie, lover, friends with benefits type of thing because this masculine was giving her sex for spiritual favors, if that's making sense. So she fell in love with him or wanted it to be more than what it was, or I guess they were a transgender, and I don't know what had happened, baby, but this masculine or feminine was always comparing them to you or made this person feel like they will always have to compare them to you, made them feel intimidated and worried. Was, this person was heavily triggered. They didn't clear childhood woundings clearly. So when they got this masculine, this masculine just excavated all of that shit. And now that they, she feels like this masculine lied to her because when they did their research, okay, I didn't see that part. What happened? They found that this man was a liar. They were lying about you. So I don't know what they were saying about you. Oh, they were lying on you, saying things that weren't true to get them to do magic on you. And they were offering some DD, some dirty D, okay? Child, because their offer got rejected. So when they were trying to go and do this magic at you, as we said in the last readings, their offer got rejected and they got their ass beat by your ancestors, okay? Pop, look at your ancestors circling and targeting out this person. This person feels like they have a target on their back now. And this masculine does too. And now he's trying to escape his fate too, because as I said in the other reading, that 
he was trying to escape whatever he got going on because the ancestors were whipping their ass too. So he thinking he can get back in there or she thinking she can get back into your energy that that will make things easier for them or they'll stop getting attacked from your ancestors. And their ancestors said, absolutely not. I don't know what they're thinking. They gotta make they gotta make the bed that they lay in, okay? They done lied on the high high vibe earth angel, and so they must pay the consequences. Yes, honey. Ooh, spirit. This is juicy, honey. Okay. Okay, so spirit, tell us more. So somebody did some private investigating on you and they felt they see that the other person was lying on you. I don't know. Whoever this energy is, they have a lot of kids or something. Child, what is this? Mm -mm. Now, I don't know who's this energy. Fear said, you know whose energy this is. It's the escapism's energy. They got a lot of kids. They got a drug habit. And they don't, they're not responsible with their money. They could have some type of illness. Now, I don't know where this illness is from. You know, I'm tired of picking up illnesses and shit. Illness, disease means that the body, the 3D body is in dis-ease spiritually which physically leads up to symptoms of, of certain illnesses, okay? Maybe this person's stressed out because they got a lot of kids, okay? They own drugs that they can't even take care of all their damn kids properly. And they got an illness from this person. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And now they're trying to escape something, Gemini High Vibe. They're running away from their problems because they're worried and triggered in fear now because the smoking mirrors, the misleading and the embellishment, people are finding them out as a liar and who they really are. So they lied on you in some form or fashion or they did something. I don't know. But this person is a hot-ass train derailment. They don't take care of their kids. They got a lot of children, possibly been different suitors. So thank God if you did not have a baby with this person. If you did, baby, that's okay. Okay, you just move right along. But this person, whoever they are, this trying this masculine is just trying to escape. They are a pill popper, or they do some type of drug. I don't know. I heard fentanyl, so I don't um whatever that is. Okay, I know it's a drug clearly, but I don't know what it does. Okay, I just hear it. I'm gonna have to look that up. Because I see, I've seen in news reports how people passed away on it, but I wasn't really for sure. I just thought it was, a, I don't know what I thought. I wasn't thinking because I'm not using it, so I don't know. And I'm not saying that I'm better or anything like that. It's just not been my interest to figure out what that shit is. But somebody um got a, that type of problem. Yeah, they're being rejected from society. They're being labeled as a racist. They're, believe, they're, they're, they're being labeled like whoever did this stuff. They're realizing this this person is very non-emotional in a sense. Like they do things ice cold, ice, ice, baby. Yeah. Okay. And so now this person, I don't know why they're trying to escape spirit. They're trying to escape from themselves, honestly. Okay. What, what else is going on in the T spirit? Why are they trying to escape? There's somebody that's not going to get off their ass about something. I don't know what it is. This private eye, he done found some shit out about this person's lie that they cannot turn it off. They're realizing that this masculine, because they probably, because I did see Ponzi scheme too big to fail. Maybe this masculine did some type of Ponzi scheme or they're into fraud or Ponzi schemes or something like that. And him and this whatever practitioner used to do Ponzi schemes together or I don't know, but maybe he used to do it by himself to support his family because he got a drug habit because he's too lazy to work. That's the energy that I'm getting from here. And now he's intimidated because this private investigator has figured this masculine out. And now as a liar, this private eye is on the shit because they realize that this person got some dirty money. Oh my God. And they want to come back and financially use you. So they got dirt. So they, maybe they want to wash the money through you. Financial abuse. Yeah, they want to come in and finesse you to kind of make move some money for them or keep take some money or something like that. This person still thinks that they have you have they have a lock on you. They have some type of hold on you. Gemini high vibe. They think they have a hold on you. That's what they think. Spirit say. And this person is willing to poach or trespass by any means to get out of this legal situation. That they got themselves trapped up to. Thirst trap. Exactly. So look. No. For the love of money. You gotta make that money, man. This person is gonna come lying to where, where about some money that they they got dirty and illegal. Just know that they're under surveillance or under investigation. This man can't stop working because he's almost at the end and shit. 
This person does want to financially use you to hide the money. They think you still have feelings for them. No, honey. Mm -mm. You, you know this person's a scam artist. That's the way you always felt. Liar, liar, pants on fire. So oh, not only the detective know they're a liar, your ass know they a liar. And they're trying to come back and scam you. And this person's very salty as well. Very bitter. Very agitated and angry because they feel like they got left and abandoned or no one's there around them. Or I don't know. Something about them feeling abandoned. Mm, because you won't let them suck on your energy. But they're coming back in to try to suck on your energy. They're trying to escape right now. They are. Mm -hmm. They hope that you're naive romantically. They hope you're lonely or s single and lonely, honey. That's what I heard the word, single and lonely. Ain't nothing single and lonely about your ass. You single possibly, but never lonely, honey. Mm -mm. Do you think you're lonely now? Wait until tonight, girl. Our boy. Um, no. They're going to try to talk about they want to come and make it happen. But this person, they need... Mm -mm. Don't let them swindle you, baby. That's nothing but smoke and mirrors. They hope that you still... They still got a hold on your heart. Because they got excess baggage that they, you know, they, ugh, Gemini. And they got behavioral issues too. So be careful. They may throw a tantrum and go into a rage when your ass deny they ass is divine masculine energy. Okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for some of y'all, you're unresponsive to them. You miss calls and messages left unread. So some of them have reached out to you. You left them on red. Good job because this was a bloodsucker coming towards you with legal issues and problems and challenges and grievances that you don't deserve nor warrant. Okay, that does not resonate with you. Yeah, so you're unresponsive because you're too busy sitting on your pedestal. This person now wants to hold you on a pedestal. This bloodsucker, they're mad at you because you're not taking them back. You've abandoned them. That's why they're angry with you. And they're salty and bitter about it. Okay, those cards kept coming out. Yeah, because you know they're a scam. Are they mad they can't scam you or they can't put you on the hook for something that they've done with this dirty money that they want to put, they want to bait you with? So they're not coming in to um, show love. They've got heavy grievances on their heart already. The past is already weighing them down, whether it be drugs, babies, babies, mamas, babies, daddies. I don't know, but they want to come in to you and get a smoking mirror going. Hell no. Yeah, this person's very overindulgeful. Okay. Um, I'm hearing I'm a player. I don't crush a lot. Oh, I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. Oh, no. So this person wants to come in because they got something, somebody hot on their tail. They want to come in. And so they might overdo the I love you and because they really wish that you were naive romantically. They really do. And they hope that you love them unconditionally. So they're going to try to put it on thick for you to be like, oh, I love you too unconditionally. Yeah. They want you to go off of lust and, and pleasure and how it used to be. You done moved on from that shit, Gemini High Vibe Cross Watcher. You done moved on. You're not living in the past. Yeah, their glory days have already peaked, period. It says peaked already. Their glory days are over. You've moved on. So, Gemini, you've moved on and they feel like they've cursed themselves or they didn't curse themselves doing the movie. That's why they're bitter and mad. They try to figure out, how do I come back? It just show you this unconditional love. But the love was always conditional. Let me just tell you that, okay? They had certain stipulations and conditions on the love. And that's where you had to cut the ties from this person because, honey, they was not, they was a no. Yeah, they was trying to finesse you. They think they can come back in and finesse you, and that's a hell no. They want to do smoking mirrors and pull on your heartstring, talking about remember, shoulda, woulda, coulda, or tell you that they got a drug problem, and they the reason that they did it is maybe from their childhood with this multiple babies. I'm getting that, too. They're always in molded. Yeah, they want to blame the drama of their childhood is why they're on drugs or why they do the things that they do. Oh, that's not good enough, though. So that's why God had to intervene and cut ties. Okay, this person did give some of y'all PTSD too. You like, hell no. Mm -mm. Now this person has PTSD with you because you're so fancy now. So this person thinks you sh you've changed on them. Okay, you've changed on them. You're not the same. You think you're better than them and stuff like that. Yeah, no. This person just wants to hold on to you and hold you hostage. Keep you from your celebrations with this victim mentality that they got. Like, I can't cope, won't cope. So they never, yeah, and they're too lazy to do anything or to be bothered to do any damn thing. 
Yeah, no, Gemini. Mm. Okay, Spirit. Well, what's going on with this? Spirits say block their ass, and that's the truth. They say say less, and you don't need to say nothing else. Reject this offer. I can't make spirits telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. You can do what you want to do with this energy, but the spirit sees this person's intentions. They overindulge. They do way too much too fast with everybody. They tell everyone they run in contact with that they unconditionally love them to keep the hooks inside of them. They, they mentally, emotionally manipulate you. And they know that they're doing this. They methodically come up to how to get into your mind because this person feels that once they get into your mind, they always have you. Fuck your heart. Once they get into your heart, I mean your mind, they have your heart. Okay, they want to keep you guessing or I don't know, but this person already done left your ass out in the cold. Spirit saying that's the truth and you already felt rejected and left out. So at the, at, you were the cup of love. But now they're holding on to you and regret that they made. See, this person's retarded. And I'm not trying to be mean or nothing like that. <sighs> this is the energy that I'm thinking of. You heard that deep sigh. Shit, they are heavily burdened by the choices that they made. Being all flighty and non-committal and in and out of your life. You didn't want to commit to you talking shit, gossiping about you. It's like you don't want that energy around you at all. Especially a liar. You can't even trust him for anything. You can't depend on them. That's not a good feeling. You can't depend on someone. You give your all. How come someone else can't give their all? They give their all of bullshit. That's what they do. And then they want to show up like the wounded warrior and shit like, oh, I did. Like, shut up. You're making Earth Archangel Michael angry. That's why you all in your head right now because you done violated and betrayed this Earth Angel that was sent in your life to help you. Now you stuck it like Chuck trying to look at things from another perspective. Talking about I should have invested in you because then it would have been wish fulfillment and it would have been an equal give and take. That's a damn lie. This would not have been an equal give and take, Gemini High Vibe. You would have been depressed and sad that you even invested in this type of energy. This person would have had you all in your head and you would have moved right along in marriage with their ass been stuck. You giving to them more than they're giving to you. So I guess it's a stamp approval of no from spirit to you. They already said it and that's the truth. That's the truth. They still holding on to you, but you've let them go and they're not understanding why. I don't know why, because this person has a mental issue, possibly. I mean, I don't know. They just, oh Lord, they feel like you should forgive them of their third party discrepancies and fussing and fighting and move on forward with them so they can invest with you. Like this is a bully. You don't want no damn bully on your team and they're trying to self-pleasure themselves. Like this is a weird person. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not resonating with this energy at all. It makes me want to obliviate. I can't even... Mm, mm, mm. No, this person's a heavy burden. They don't take accountability or responsibility. It's a woe is me. This happened to me. You know, this is why I'm this way. I can't open myself up. And they're just weird. Instead of working on the situation, they just rather dig ditches and holes for themselves. And now they got a private investigator that found out that they did some type of money scam and shit. Now they're trying to do magic to hide it, but it ain't working. And now they want to come to you, Gemini? Uh-uh. All emotional. Possibly they might come to, to you crying to get you an... Yeah, they might come to you mad and angry, make up some type of lie. I don't know, baby. But Spirit says don't. Don't get with this overindulgence, okay? Because that's not unconditional love, what it does. It's not going to put you in harm's danger. It's not going to mistreat you. Now, you might make a mistake because no one's perfect, but no one's going to go to the, the extent to finesse you, to lie to you, to block you, to just emotionally manipulate you, to try to use you out of your money to get them out of a situation. That's not love. Yeah, they're, they got people after them. Or this PI is after them and they try to find out where to go. Where can I get a new beginning at? Where, oh, I can go to Gemini, High Vibe. It could be a Sagittarius or Sagittarius. They want to come to you to balance out the shit. But hell no, Sagittarius. The Five of Swords is at stake, okay? It's going to cause a whole bunch of conflict, fussing and fighting. And, you know, you don't want to get involved with this private eye now. Don't get involved with no shit, okay? So, Gemini, that's all I got for you because he want to know where this money comes from. So, don't get involved even if they give you some of the money. Mm -mm, let it go, Spirit say it. Don't hold on to it because you won't be in regret, period. So, Gemini, that's all I got for you. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye.